how to use gantt view on clickup hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you step by step how to use the gantt view on clickup uh, with your projects basically uh, with clickup obviously you should already know that it is for task management and all of those things uh, and you have different views you have the list view which a lot of people use you have the board view team view and so on but we also have the gantt view now, this view is going to be very, very different from the ones that we already use, like list, board, and so on, yet very helpful because it does actually show us a timeline. And not only that, but it also shows us, or I mean not shows us, but allows us to connect more than just one task with one another, which could create dependencies, meaning this task needs to be completed for this other task to be completed and so on it's, it's just going to create a chain for us uh but at the same time it's also going to show us the timeline of each task and so on so this is going to be especially great for those projects that have a lot of you know con interconnected tasks that are connected to one another and also they are going to be working on a long run so for example for like an entire project that is going to work for an entire month and so on so how do you actually get started using the Gantt view? Uh, very simply, go to any project that you want to work on. And then from the top, you can see all the views that you have. You should find already the Gantt view by default over here. Uh, but in case you don't, because some people don't actually find it, uh, just click on the plus view here. And in here, we can actually see a lot of views that we can select. And you should find the Gantt view over here. And if you click on that, you can actually go ahead and uh, see it over here with the other views. So actually just go ahead and create that. I'm just going to remove this because I already have one. Uh, so it's going to be this one right here. So open up the Gantt view and you can already see how different it is from, you know, the board view, the list view and so on. So open it up and on the left panel here, you can actually see a few toggles here you can see the projects that you have i have project one and it's going to show you also the um the uh, tasks that are related to this project and if you have uh you can create subtasks within them you can also rename them but you can also go to task which is going to basically uh, take us to where this task is on the gantt view okay uh we can also you know minimize this or we can just completely hide this task table we so we can you know have more space for the actual view and here we can actually just start by the sorting so we can just sort by assignees date created date uh, updated id index name priority and so on and we can also filter between uh what type of view we want so day hour week day month day year month and it's just going to really change how it's going to look uh, for us so it's year is just going to show us per year the tasks that are available uh so we can also de do year and month so it's going to show us 2024 and also uh the month if we click on today it's going to take us exactly where we need to be we can do month uh and day so it's going to show us the month and it's going to show us the day um but i'm just going to stick with week and day it's just going to show us the um dates between them it's just going to be a lot more compact so in here we can actually view any task that has some sort of date related to it is going to show us so we can see here uh, if we click on the script uh, the write a script task which is this one right here we can see that it does have a date a start date and an end date this is why it's going to actually show within the gantt view but if for example we go to uh let's just go to the list view Create a new task, uh, task number one, number one, and let's say task number one does not have a date. We can go to Gantt here, and we will not find it. If we go to task number one, you can see there's no arrow that indicates we can actually go to it because it does not have a date. This is something that you need to understand with the Gantt view. It does require to have a date for it to actually show up. So we can just simply fix it by clicking on here, um, go to dates, we can set up a start date, which is going to be today, and we can uh, set up a due date, which, which is going to be uh, August 1st, 
and we should be good to go if we exit out of here we can see it right away pop up in here and now we can actually go ahead and start creating dependencies with those tasks that we already have let me just minimize this basically they are going to be as connections so you have the back connection and you have the forward connection so here this is going to be the first one uh, so we can actually go ahead and connect it to the back end of the water of the plants and we have the first dependency you can see it's just going to be a line that is connecting it to the next uh, task which is going to be watering the plants i know that writing a script and water watering the plants is nothing is connected between them but you know just for the sake of the example and then this one is going to lead to the other one which is going to be uh, task number one so we can just go ahead and connect it and you can see we have our connections here it's just going to be a lot easier for us to see the connections between these um tasks that we have okay so if we let it load for for a little bit uh if we you can see the relations uh, relationships so blocking so it's going to be blocking the one behind it and waiting on uh, i mean no waiting on the one behind it and blocking the one that is in front of it obviously so we have these relationships this is how to set them without gantt view pretty much but yeah what else we can actually do so basically this the watering of the plants is pretty much blocking uh, task number one because you know watering the plants needs to be done in order for task number one to be done so it is blocking number one and it is um what is the other one it's it's uh it's waiting on yes waiting on the writing a script task to be complete so you know we can actually finish it and be complete now you may be wondering what this green bar is green bar is pretty much the actual project itself so um we can actually move the entire project if you would like so if you would like to you know reschedule things move the entire project you can completely do that so this green thing is entire project this is going to help us if we have multiple projects you will want to view in one time you can also do so so what if you want to actually go ahead and add a task or something um we can just simply click on the top right here add task and we can just simply click on or just give it a name let's just do um by goodies uh we can make it a task or a milestone both work uh i'm just going to add i'm not going to add a description i'm just going to keep it for project one and then i'm going to make this as update required assignee is going to be me due date is very necessary so we can just do start date is going to be friday till next friday and then we have priority is going to be hi uh, and then tags if you want to add tags and so on and once you're happy with this we can just simply click on create and it should show up in here and if we click on any uh, view here, we can actually just see all that we need when it comes to the information about it and so on. So we can see now by goodies, if it's assigned to a specific person, you can see the icon of that person in here. Uh, we can make it bigger or smaller. We can connect it to this one. And now basically this is, um, this is waiting on the by goodies uh, and this is blocking uh, the task number one this is now blocking water plants and so on uh, so it's a good way to have the gantt view help you out with the dates and also at the same time the dependencies um, connections and so on so i believe this is pretty much all there is to it if i'm not mistaken you can see now it is blocking uh write a script because now it needs to be obviously done so if we just select this um where is the status status is pretty much marked as complete we can see now that this is marked as complete and it is going to be green and now this is now blocked anymore because that one is complete so we can just go ahead and change this to mark as complete again and it's going to be green and we can see now that we can just keep doing that over and over again it's going to look exactly like that so this is pretty much how to use the gantt view uh you also have the sorting i already said that i believe so yeah i don't think there's anything yet uh, for me to say so uh, it's very very beneficial if you know exactly what you're doing with it and you 
and you really want to view the timeline and at the same time connections between tasks is going to be a great view for you to use with that being said i hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching